Hi, this is going to be a little movie about the uh, new Stark Bayou Observatory. I just completed this um, in the last week or so and uh, just got everything operating uh, over this weekend. So that's the, uh, that's the observatory there. It uh, comes right off my deck. And um, that's a low height door. You have to duck a little bit to get in there. And, and there's about five feet of headroom in the main part. And then, of course, where the dome is, there's plenty of headroom. The dome sticks up about eight feet. And you can see it's the, uh, the slit there. Um, this is an Explorer dome. It's an eight foot model. So it's uh, eight feet in diameter. And uh, the observatory is uh, basically, uh, I made it as hurricane proof as possible. The, uh, everything is strapped with hurricane ties, all the studs. The, uh, the floor is actually concreted into the ground. It sits on about 20 four by four posts that go down uh, two to three feet and uh, with concrete on them. And then everything is strapped together. Um, the siding is actually called hardy board. It's a, a concrete material that looks just like paneling so uh, I don't have to worry about bugs and things like that uh, rot or anything and uh, alright so we'll go inside and by the way there's the uh, old roll-off roof which I just have some visual scopes in there now so uh, when people come over we can just go look and so forth alright well we're gonna go inside here and you can see that's where the uh, that's my pier and um, there's the, uh, the, the power station at the bottom of the pier that I built. It's got, uh, I don't know, six outlets there and a power strip and uh, the wiring runs under the floor. Um, and that's a 12-inch sauna tube. And on top of that is uh, my MI250. And uh, currently what I do, what I have on there is uh, an SV80, 80 millimeter uh, F6 uh, refractor with my QSI 583 camera. And you can see the uh, dome rotation strip up on top on um, that little white strip with all those holes uh, the motor and uh, you know tracks um, using those holes it's got a big sprocket wheel that fits into each one of those holes as it turns and there's a sensor that uh, measures how many uh, ticks have gone by by measuring the holes and uh, that sensor um, is actually what's used to rotate the uh, dome or keep track of where it actually is so we'll walk inside here. There's a, I've got a little old dresser that I use for storage and the computer center over there. I've got a couple on my laptop and another monitor. And then uh, a little shelf over here and, and there's the floor with some, uh, we use these things called echo tiles which are recycled uh, plastic bags made into carpet and kind of self sticks, kind of, kind of neat stuff. And the paneling is uh, some uh, inexpensive Lowe's, uh, in kind of indoor outdoor. It's kind of moisture resistant paneling, and I and I left it kind of white. I wanted uh, everything uh, below the equator of the dome to be kind of white, so I can see a little bit at night. And of course, up on up inside the dome, it's dark. It's black. Uh, over here, we can see. Uh, okay, that's the uh, actual shutter and door. And right now, it's manually operated, but. Uh, Another project for maybe next year is I can automate that using the same uh, system, which is uh, made by Foster Systems. It's the uh, dome rotation system. Uh, there's the uh, box that controls that. And uh, up there is the actual sensor that uh, measures each one of those little holes as they go by. So it uh, measures how far the dome is turned. And that, uh, using th the software, keeps track of where the dome is. Uh, that is the actual rotation motor, which uh, you can see how the it's got a sprocket wheel on it, and that fits into the little dome rotation holes on the track up there. And uh, when it turns, uh, it's a little noisy, but it works very well. All right, so we're going to go slew to an object over here. And um, what we've got going is uh, we've got Maxim DL up here. And um, I actually have, actually have the, uh, the Maxim Observatory Control up and running. And what that does is that allows me to connect to the uh, scope. It allows me to connect to the actual dome. And it's connected uh, to the scope through the Gemini Control System. Um, 
I'm using an MI250 and it's run through the Gemini system which is uh, actually fairly well. This is the older version. There's a new one out called Gemini 2 now. But this one is the original Gemini 1 and it works uh, just fine. Um, the pointing model uh, works really really well if you uh, utilize uh, MaxPoint and that's what I have here uh, running also. Over here is uh, MaxPoint and this is the Gemini control um, application here. It shows you where the scope is. And I have the sky running and it's pointing at an object right now even though it's daytime. This is a Hamal, a star Hamal. And it shows you that that's where the crosshairs are, that's where the scope is pointing. And the, the sky is also connected through ASCOM to the, the uh, mount. So the sky is connected to the mount, max point is connected to the mount, obviously the Gemini control uh, software is connected to the computer and um, Maxim DL is connected to the mount, uh, connected to the dome and if I had the camera running, which I don't right now, I'd have the camera box over here too. So uh, the idea here is I just wanted to show you that how it all works and that it actually does move when I select an object. So I'm going to pick uh, up here, I think, here we go, that's in the Andromeda Galaxy and I'm going to click on that and tell the telescope to point to it and we'll see the telescope move and then in about 20 seconds the dome will actually slew over to where the telescope is pointing. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so the telescope has moved and in about uh, Oh, 15 seconds or so, you'll see the dome will move. All right, so the dome is moved, and let's see how good we're pointing. So here's the. Uh, the scope and we're looking right up there through the slit. So what will happen now is as this tracks it'll automatically uh, rotate as the dome moves and um, I just heard it uh, make one little correction there and so uh, as, the, as the mount moves the uh, dome will move automatically to uh, keep the slit fairly well centered. Let's see here show you. So that, that scope's pointing pretty much right up through that slit. Alright, well that's the uh, idea of how it all works and uh, hopefully we'll have uh, first light here and um, maybe next week uh, when the weather clears. Uh, the, we, we, the weather's been kind of awful the last couple days and uh, since we just got everything up and running uh, just a couple days ago we'll wait for some nice weather and then we'll uh, hopefully be up in operation and getting some uh, great imaging done again. All right, appreciate it, and we'll see you later.